A fridge is a long-term appliance investment for most of us as a rule. So with regards to this particular model, the Fridgemaster MUR 49100, I hope to give you some insight to consider when purchasing one. We've actually placed this outside of our small kitchen to enable you to get a good and much better look at it. Firstly, as you can see, it's a very basic looking appliance with no fancy features. Not to worry though, this is clearly reflected in its super low budget price. Always expect to pay more for extras with features and consider whether you're actually going to use them and do you need them. This particular fridge would fit under your average standard size kitchen counter and is a little slimmer in width than the average counter fridge that you see. It has a reversible door swing feature giving you the option to open from either side which can be a real bonus if you have limited kitchen space like myself when deciding the location of where you're actually going to place your fridge. The interior has the opposite effect of Dr. Ruth's TARDIS because although externally it appears only slightly slimmer than the average size fridge, the capacity inside is a rather big difference. There's an adjustable shelf which doesn't give a lot of storage space and at the bottom there's a salad bin which was pretty much full after placing inside one cabbage and one mixed bag of salad. The ice compartment is very small with a slide out tray beneath it and both the door to the ice compartment and the tray beneath it are really flimsy. This makes for a very clumsy process when using the tray and the word budget is reflected most of all in this area. The door has bottle, jar, egg storage in the form of three shelves and there's absolutely no complaints here as they seem sturdy enough. The appliance's temperature is controlled by a thermostat dial which has seven settings clearly marked with numbers. This is located by the ice compartment and it is super simple to use. You just turn the dial to your preferred setting. There is actually no fridge thermometer, so unless you purchase one, you may have to adjust the setting a few times to get your desired result. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that this fridge chills efficiently, as at number, set, number three setting, I took out a chicken and found ice on it. Another thing to consider, in case you haven't noticed it yet, is that there is no interior light in this fridge. So if you're a midnight snacker, you best take a torch. So the verdict all in all is that I would definitely not recommend this fridge for a family's use. This is due to its capacity. It falls way too short for storage space. However, it's ideal for a single person or a student on a budget. It does its job great, and as long as you allow its low cost price to be taken into account in relation to its actual features, I think you'll be very happy.